Hi guys, this is Steven Muniv with Intrepid and I'm going to go and review this 475 Sport Yacht with triple 627S 7 Marine engines. Uh, the 7 Marine engines come in 557 horsepower or 627s. In this case he did the 627s. Uh, they are the fastest outboards you can get right now for a boat. Uh, so he went all out here. Okay, but let's go over the cockpit here since I got a nice shot. He's got a fiberglass folding rear bench seat that in a second I'll put up so you can see uh, where that, um, how much space you get when you fold it up. It's really practical. I have the dive door that swings in uh, open right now. So you can see that your guests can walk right on as opposed to having a fold out uh, dive door. You can see the Glen Denning in the back underneath the gunnel. Uh, that's automatic, in and out. He went with a flat upholstery design on the combing bolsters. Uh, we call that the flat horizontal stripe look. You can do other stitchings and design, but that's what he went with. Uh, it's got a little uh, storage there it's a little tray that goes down you can do so much here i've got another boat coming that uh, he did a faucet and a grill with a few cup holders so and that was all fiberglass you've got uh, access to really big storage compartment in here our fish box on all our models are always opposite side of the dive door so our fish box with macerator is right there. Here is access to the generator. There is either storage or we can turn that into a uh, live bait well and under here you have a fold out ladder uh, that folds out. Uh, this is really nice because you don't have to have a ladder at all so you can pull up your fish Without the ladder, you can jump off, um, you can have guests walk in, but with the ladder, obviously, you can um, come in and out from the water. So, let me uh, show you a couple more shots here. So, that's another shot of the fiberglass folding rear bench seat. Here, let's see here, we've got the sunshade that's integrated into the hardtop. This is really nice because notice how much shade you can get. Um, the end comes right to the transom. This is called the arch hardtop because you've got fiberglass that's uh, it's all one piece. You've got steps to walk around the boat on both sides. So we've got a full glass, all the way around, stainless steel uh, rim, comes around up halfway. The rest he's got, uh, he's got an acrylic enclosure put in. I'll show you how this does. So you can see how much room you get when you, uh, when you bring out the fiberglass folding rear bench seat. Really all you're losing is a couple inches there, which is really nice. He's going to have a table installed here. So the table comes loose, goes into a pole, and then fits in the base there. He had some speakers installed on the back, he's got some speakers there installed. That gives you access to uh, the generator, which you can have access there, or you can have access inside. I'll open it up for you. It's also where the Glendening is stored, the cord stored there. Here's another shot of the integrated sunshade. It's nice how they did that. See if 
I can get you a better shot here. There. So you got three steps to walk down to the cockpit. I got this in the fold up position. If you want, we can even put, we can continue the combing bolster, put a nice pad that continues out. If that's something you want. Here's a nice shot of the dive door that swings open for your guests to come on. Here you can see his helm seat. He went with a bench seat with cup holders uh, behind it. He went with a dual refrigerator. You can do ice maker and refrigerator. You can do drawers. You can do a pullout uh, cooler. You can do just basic storage. Um, do whatever you want there. Here's a shot of the L-shaped seat. Here you have the console. You went with all Garmin's. This boat comes with joystick. So this joystick is a little bit different than the Yamaha or the Mercury joystick for the engines. Uh, I can go and do another video on how that works later on, but they don't independently move. They actually work with the bow thruster. And if you have a stern thruster, it'll work with that too. Let's check out the cabin. Got three steps. You've got wooden floors. On the starboard side, you've got a nice large galley. I'll back up a little bit. Got fridge. Got a uh, microwave inside. Faucet. That will pull out. Let me show you. You get a nice clean look. Stove top. Storage. More storage. This is where your control panel is. This is the uh, settee area. With a touch of a button, that table will go down. There's a filler cushion right there. That has dedicated storage behind that wall right there, and so that gets put away. A lot of natural light. A lot of natural light coming in from the ceiling, too. The 475 comes standard with this TV in the, in the cabin. A nice storage closet here. Pretty long, so you can uh, hang clothes. Get some more storage down there. Storage on the floors. Here's a nice shot of the entrance and the two staterooms that we have. So the 475 is a dual stateroom boat. Uh, if you look at some of the 2007s, maybe 8s, you might find a single stateroom. Um, but for the most part, uh, 2008 and up, you're going to see a lot of dual staterooms because it just became a little bit more popular. Um, we were able to make a nice layout doing that. So this is the guest room. So you've got hatch, got a really big bed, some really nice natural light. He installed a TV. You got some drawers behind the door. You've got a nice big closet again. I did that too fast, but you get the point. So you got a private door. Here you've got the master stateroom with even more natural light and more storage. Big storage in there. Bigger bed. Some reading lights, goes in pretty deep, um, a lot of headroom, nice floors throughout. You can get carpet, you can get just fiberglass. You have access to your head through here. So if um, your guests want to go to the bathroom, use the head, they can go through here, or you can go through 
there if you wanted to, but basically through the shower. It's really nice because uh, you'll realize it when you're actually staying overnight and you don't have to open the door and get out of your room to go to the, use the head. So let's see if we can get another shot out here. So coming in through, you got a full mirror. Coming in through here, this is your head. Okay. Storage, faucet. You can see the full shower. You've got the door open, which is why you see all the light. But you do have natural light coming in. That's a shot of the shower. Let's see if I can show you the roof because you get so much natural light on this boat. Okay. So this is the 475. Let me come back out and give you a few more angled shots so you can see what's happening. You can get cockpit air. Um, this one has cockpit air. You don't have to have it. You can make it really, really simple if you want. We can even fully enclose this with glass all around, on three sides, or how you see it now. Here's another shot of the helm seat. This helm seat top is really popular because um, you can fit up to three people, a little child in between. It's really nice. He's got a table that goes there. the walking space. Let's go up to the front here. Handrails, handrails. If you think about it, we can do anything and put handrails anywhere you want. So just because you see them on this boat, you can, you can put them anywhere you want. That's easy. It's the deck. You can see the walking space, big anchor locker. Those cleats are fixed. In this case, uh, the fixed ones seem to be more popular. We put pop-up uh, cleats in the rear, or you can put pull-up cleats in the rear. That's a fresh and hot water wash down. So that's 10 inches. So that cleat over there looks like it's 8 inches. I'll show you this. Just a little tray. Put your cups there. But again, we can do anything here. Just got to specify it and kind of dream it up. Other than that, that's the 475. Let me know if you want to see more videos. I'll do more models as they come in and as I have time. Uh, so in the meantime, like this video, subscribe, and it really does show me that you want to see more videos. Talk to you later. Here's a nice side shot of the boat.